Hey, what's up, buddy? It's White Boy Lockdown Radio, man. To all my Newport smokers, all my menthol smokers, hey, it's a wrap. Okay, it's a wrap. Uh, why is it a wrap? Well, so according, apparently, menthol cigarettes affect black smokers tremendously, cause them a lot of cancer. So, they're going to take menthol cigarettes off the market. Now, I know, I know you're watching this video. Where am I getting my information from? How do I know what's going on? Look, I don't even smoke cigarettes. Take it easy. I hate cigarettes. This right here is my vice, but it ain't, it ain't menthol. Okay, I go on and off with quitting. But uh, let's get back into some facts. Where I get my information from, I got it from Google. So I'm going to read something, and then I'm going to say what I feel, how this came about. And uh, just, just be patient and wait till the end of the video. Here we go. The Food and Drug Administration appears likely to move a ban on menthol cigarettes this week, a step, experts say, that has been years in the making and could have a significant positive impact on the health of black Americans. The FDA's decision would not ban menthol immediately, but rather kick off the rule making process to do so, which could take years. The wins are definitely in our favor, said Del Monte Jefferson, executive director of the Center of Black Health and Equity, citing both decades of data that show that the cooling flavor in cigarettes makes it easier to start smoking combined with the current cultural momentum toward improving the lives of Black Americans. When inhaled, menthol produces a cooling sensation in the throat, reducing the harsh taste of cigarettes and the irritation of nicotine. The vast majority of black smokers, 85%, use menthol cigarettes. And black men and women are much less likely than white Americans to be diagnosed with lung cancer at an earlier potentially more treatable stage. Black men have the highest lung cancer death rate in the country. When you combine high rates of smoking with systematic racism in healthcare systems, you have a tremendous health disparity, said Erica Swar. Erica, Erica. National Assistant Vice President for Advocacy at the American Lung Association, both at the Centers of Disease Control Prevention and National Institutes of Health. The FDA faces a Thursday court-ordered deadline to respond The FDA faces a Thursday court order deadline to respond to a citizen petition sent to the agency in 2013 urging it to ban menthol as a flavor in cigarettes. When the FDA failed to act, the time two groups, the African American Tobacco Control Leadership, said it is possible a decision could come home earlier than Thursday. And because the lawsuit only mentions regular cigarettes, it's unclear whether electronic cigarettes and other tobacco products that contain menthol will be affected. Blah, 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 blah. COVID-19 and the racial awakening we we had last summer exposed the inequalities in our system. Jefferson said menthol is just another example of the health inequalities. Okay, I'm not gonna even read anymore, okay? I'm not gonna read anymore. Okay, I'm not even getting aggravated. And I don't even I don't even like the cigarettes, but I can guarantee you, out of out of almost three thousand people, a lot of y'all smoke those menthols. But check this one out. I don't every any black person that I know personally. Let me. Yeah, check every black person that I know personally smokes menthol cigarettes. That's a fact. I know a lot of y'all do. Here's the thing about it. If they do this, okay, if they do this, man, a lot of you guys are going to get mad, and all the black people that I know are going to get mad, for sure. 
They don't want this, and y'all don't want this. I don't care. I think it's funny. But here's the deal. Everybody, I get so many emails, so many DMs. Big Matt, what do you think? There's going to be a civil war? Do you think there's going to be a race war? This and that, this and that, politics and that. I'm like, man, you're crazy. But uh, hey, look, um, to the people that DM me and email me, man, if they take black people's menthol cigarettes away, hey, man, we might have a civil war. Might even have a race war. I don't know. But the, 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 and here's why. I didn't read the whole article. I'll leave a pen in the description. I'll, I'll, I'll write a pen in the comment. Erica, she's probably a white person. Straight up. It's probably a white person. It's Erica, or whoever's in charge of this, it's the same retard. It's the same white person called the BLM song. I have no idea what it's about what it means okay perfect example of a weird white person either holding the sign or taking the cigarettes and they're taking from good black folk and good white folk it's the weird white people that's the problem. If you DM me, if you email me, that is my answer to you. Stop the weird white people. They are the ones that are out of control. They're not solid. You know, who cares if the black man smokes menthols? Who cares? I don't like cigarettes. I don't care if y'all do it. I'd have to be weird to be like, no, you can't do it anymore. Give me this. Hey, all y'all, give me this. That's weird. That's weird. It's white ball out there on radio. Smash the like. Subscribe to it. Share it. And get with it. Join the members. And hey man. Y'all better get on them uh, 305s. Y'all better get on them. Uh, what are the cheap ones that are cigars? That are 80 cents for a pack? You better switch it up. One thing about it. I'm good to go. Yeah, hey, man. Until the next one.